everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Inktober Day 16 and the word is wild. Eee! This is pretty exciting because I've had a lot of ideas with this one, but I'm going to settle on a portrait, but with kind of like, I don't know, wild, feral kind of aspect. I don't know, but we'll see how it turns out. So with that said, here are my supplies, gel pen, red colored pencil, fine liner, and lastly, my Uhuhu Colors, who by the way is sponsoring this video for Inktober. So we've got Deep Red, which is R4, then we've got R7, which is Old Red, R9 for Pastel Rose, Warm Gray 1, Warm Gray 4, BG5, BG4, G5, and P2 and R11. So let's move on to the sketch. And so I kind of want to make her like looking down. Don't want to go on the side of too cutesy, but it's kind of a struggle because I feel like cutesy is just sometimes my style. <laughs> so I'm trying to make her not too cutesy, I guess. And I'm trying to give her like really thick eyebrows for this one. So I don't want to have her look too groomed because I'm just looking for a really wild kind of look. Part of me wants to do these gauges on her. I don't know. I just want to go for a really like alternative kind of look. I feel like that fits the idea of the word because people, I mean, people still think alternative punk rock, stuff like that is wild. But I also want to make it kind of tribal too. I don't want to focus just on you know, punk rock kind of look. So I was going to do long hair, but I decided to go short this time. I feel like I've done a lot of long hair sort of styles. All right, so I would say that's pretty much my sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and start inking. Deciding if I want to ink these eyebrows in or not. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I don't know. I'll skip them for right now. All right, I think I am going to ink the eyebrows in. All right, those are some... Super strong eyebrows <laughs> did not, I don't know. I, want, I wanted to say I did not expect them to be that strong, um, but I feel like that's kind of ridiculous to say because um, the sketch was quite strong too. But I don't know, I guess when you ink something, it just really shows you how strong something can be. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this done with inking and move on to coloring and I'm gonna start with the hair because I don't know I'm in a mood to do the hair first I usually start with the skin so I'm gonna just start using feathering technique because this is my darkest green that I'm using out of my selected colors go okay and then I'm gonna go to a slightly lighter color and do the same sort of feathering technique she has this like really pretty almost like waterfall kind of hair and then my lightest blue for the highlight and it's like honestly a barely there kind of blue but i like that because it still leaves a tint of color but nothing too strong all right and now i'm gonna do the skin i've really grown a liking to this color and i think it's just i enjoy how muted the color is but it's still not exactly a gray color like there's still just enough color there then I figured I'd do some red lips. And what's cool is that the colors are so light right now that the lips really become this like focal point. And then I pulled the purple colors for her eyes. So I'm really hoping the purple eyes will be something that really stands out. I don't know. When I thought of the word wild, I just wanted to go with a color palette that was super bright and strong, but not too much because I didn't want all the colors to sort of compete for attention. Hence why I probably chose a more calm, kind of muted skin tone. Almost forgot to add shading to her skin. So I'm doing that right now. Okay, and this is probably it. I don't want to get too crazy. I want to keep like the skin tone kind of simple. So that's that. And then my shinies. Okay. And then... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna be doing my usual black background that I like to do.
And so that's pretty much it. Doesn't really feel quite wild y, but I kind of like how I've got this series of portraits going where, I don't know, the word just inspires a type of portrait. I wouldn't say it's my favorite one that I've done so far. Currently, my favorite one is the dragon portrait, the dragon lady. But I do like how this one turned out. And I especially like the way her hair came out too. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.